this is Brandon with Be Clean Professionals here. We are doing a dance studio. Um, this is an activity center. As you can see, uh, we'll be stripping this whole floor, but the customer would like to see us do a demo, which is great. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do this floor. As you can see, we're starting to scrape the tape off and um, he's working at that right now. I don't even know how long that's been on there. It's been on there, it had to be on there for a while. And you can just see this area right here. This is the box that we're gonna do. So we're gonna do a boxed area just so the customer can see. We're gonna pretty much do it from here over. This was the worst part of the floor. So that's why we wanna show her exactly what we can do, how we can get it up, and what, um, you know, just how great of a job we can do. Just show our work here. All right, so stay tuned for this cleaning. And this is a strip and wax. All right, so we got the floor stuff scraped up. So now we're about to do our part and start cleaning and prepping the area for this strip and wax. Just bear with me as I fix the camera. I'm trying to get you guys a good angle. sit and dwell 
for about 10 minutes here. I'm gonna start the timer, it's actually just not done. I'm gonna start the timer here. I like to set a timer just to know exactly what we're doing. And I've been talking, so I'm gonna set it for nine minutes here. And we're gonna do our thing and wait. All right, stay tuned. All right, so the floor is dry and we are getting ready to start the next process, which is scrubbing the wax up off the floor uh, with the black scrubbing pad. Well, let me show you the pad here. This is the black scrubbing pad. This is what you wanna use here to go ahead and get that off. This is a small pad. We normally use a big 175 buffer, but as you can see this little machine that we have right here, this is a or orbiter. It's a 175 as well. Does the same thing. Uh, but it's a smaller area, so why not use it? And we're not gonna drag a big machine out to go ahead and do this small area. So he's gonna go ahead and do that. It has the weight on there to get it done. It's heavy. This is the heavy duty one. Uh, you probably want some more cords just in case. All right, so he's gonna do his thing. So he's gonna just start stripping it first and start moving that. We're moving that wax off there. See, he's overlapping, he's overlapping his, his last stroke. That way, no area is being missed. And it is scrubbing that wax off the floor. You'll be able to see the difference once we go ahead and shot back this. Now, depending on how much wax is on here, we may have to repeat this process, which is a little tedious, but as long as there is uh, three to four coats on there, they should do a great job taking it off. It just really depends on how much wax and what wax is put on here as well. Sometimes there's cleaners, they put a sealer on the floor and then, uh, which is not the right way to do it. Sealers are way stronger than wax. It's, it's exactly what it sounds like, it seals the floor, all right? And, um, it's it's and then the wax and I, I keep calling it wax, but it's actually called a finish. Okay, but that is uh. So as you can see, we're crisscrossing our motion just to make sure that we definitely penetrate all this, uh, the finish that's on the floor. We're gonna pull that all off of there. Just to make sure everything's up. We don't have to, we don't wanna have to repeat the process. And sometimes you have to, like don't get, don't get me wrong. I mean, sometimes you have to, but this is, we don't, we don't wanna have to do that. It's not uh, cost effective.
As you can see, the area turned out a little bit bigger than what we expected, but that's okay. Okay, so as you can see, we um, have got all the wax off the floor, and then look at the, just look at the difference. I mean, look at the whole floor itself. And then look at that there. All right. So we got that part done. So now it's time to neutralize the floor. So we're going to use a uh, neutral cleaner. We're going to spray the floor down. Neutral cleaner. Right here we go. We got to neutralize the, uh, the, 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 the strip stripper. If I can get it, like the words out, we gotta neutralize the stripper that's on here. So we're gonna spray this down. And then he's gonna mop over it. And then once that part is finished, we're gonna allow it to dry, air dry. And then we can get going into the next part, which is laying down the finish. Like I said, this is a neutralizer, it's a neutral, neutral cleaner. This is going to neutralize the floor. And then when we're done, uh, neutralizing the floor, spraying this down, and that it's clean, we're gonna take our shoes off. And that's because the floor is totally neutralized. 
We do not leave any detergents, any dirt or soil on the floor at all. Reason being that dirt, soil is going to be in our finish and or wax when we are done. And we don't want that. Rubbermaid hygienes, they, they make a difference, okay? The Rubbermaid, that's what you want. All right, buddy. Don't get don't get the dirty area, just only the clean Start area. Start in the middle, because it's like, wherever you want. Oh, you just got to make sure you just clean it. We're actually going to do this process twice. Like I said, we're using the mop, and now we let it sit for a little bit, neutralize the floor. We're gonna do this process twice. Like I say, he's being very careful not to walk on the floor at all. Cause like I did say, it is neutralized at this point now. actually sticks to the floor, okay? That's very important. This step is very, very important. You will be here all day if you do this perspective. Just look how this floor is coming out. So we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. Sit for about two minutes. And then uh, at that point we're gonna mop it up. Stay tuned. All right, so as you can see, we got the neutralizer down and we bump the floor fan down. Try to speed the process up a little bit here. Uh, we got here uh, roughly, what time did we get here, 9.30? We got here at 9.30. We've been here for hours. 10.20 now. So. All right, stay tuned. All right, so you can see how the floor came out. It's all script, stripped. And you see how it's, uh, it's like hazy. That's what you want. There's no wax. There's nothing on this floor. Nothing on it at all. All right. So now I'm going to lay the finish down on this floor. And like I said, it's neutralized, so we're not going to walk on it with our shoes. Normally, we would use a, uh, a special mop bucket for a finish bucket, but well, because I'm going to test the area, there's no sense of pouring, you know, a gallon or two of finish on the floor. Um, we're just going to pour it on here. And mop it up. Like we normally do. So we just want to take a small amount. Get it on there. This is only the first one here. All right. Get here. Making sure there's no dust or anything in the mop that got picked up. As you see, I just poured the wax on, but I'm going to spread it out. Just bear with me here. All right, so I got the wax down. I'm just going to spread it out. Very good, but it's 
pour some more in and uh, this. Not enough wax um, on here. Just so want to pour some more in there. Really get it spread out for the first layer. Going back to collect some of the wax and spread it out, as you can see. Alright, so that's the first coat of wax that we placed there. So we're going to put it on the weight and allow it to dry. And stay tuned. see the floor is dry now we put our first coat of wax on there there's a little bit of sheen on there we're gonna put a second coat on here and um, to get this going as I was spilling some wax You want me to wipe this a little bit up? I want a rag. Yeah. Now you can see I'm just spreading it, pour it in a pile. Normally we run pour in a pile like that. We spread it out on the uh, on the application tool that we have. Like I said, we're going to demo. So for the sake of the wax and efficiency purposes, we then bring the mop bucket for it. Solid finish. 
So this is Brandon with Be Clean Professionals. And we are all finished here with the strip and wax here. As you can see, we have the finish on the floor. It's already dry too as well. It has a matte look to it. All right. So we brought these floors back to life. Uh, we only put two coats on here. Reason being is because this is a demo and um, we're just showing the customer how the floors want to turn out. She also doesn't want it to be too slippery as well. This is an anti-slip type of cleaner uh, or type of floor finish. So that's what we have laid down today. And we are all finished. So stay tuned for the next cleaning.